hey guys welcome back to another brand new video in today's video i want to talk about why people are broke and stay broke you know what i mean like tr literally why people are broke and stay broke why is that you know what i mean and you clicked on this video for a reason you know what i mean you're probably thinking to yourself like why do i still have no money you know i've been working for you know four or five years or even over that you know what i mean longer than that right and i still have not a lot of money right and there's some simple reasons on why you still are broke where you're at right now and you feel like you don't have a lot of money, you know what I mean? So there's some simple reasons, right? Um, you know, you may, okay, you may or may not, right? But you may just buy things in general to impress people or like things that you really don't need. Like you just spend your money on dumb things that you realistically do not need. You know what I mean? Like you're just buying things that are that is out of your price range. You know what I mean? Like um for example let's just say you p get paid um 1500 from your nine to five job you know what i mean you get a paycheck from your nine to five job right you get 1500 dollars, and you spend one thousand dollars on some balenciaga shoes you know what i mean that is the reason why you are still broke because you're buying your you're buying things that you realistically do not need guys and personally okay i was one of them okay i was literally spending my money on things that i realistically did not need you know what I mean? I was buying things like jewelry, you know, earrings, um, chains, you know, watches. You know, I would buy like designer clothing like Gucci, Balenciaga, even streetwear brand, you know, like Supreme, Bape. Um, yeah, I even bought a Gucci bag that I really don't even wear, you know what I mean, that I really don't need. It was just a waste of money, you know what I mean? Um, so I've spent a lot of, of my money on dumb things that I really did not need. One of them is a huge one is sneakers. I literally spent so much money on sneakers, right? That it is ridiculous. You know, I bought Jordans, I bought Off Whites, you know, I bought Yeezys, like all these other things that I just really didn't need. You know what I mean? I literally have like 80 pairs of shoes, guys. I I'm being dead ass right now. I have literally like 80 pairs of shoes. You know what I mean? Um, and this was back when I was like, you know, when I was like 19 and 20. You know, I'm 22 now, I'm about to be 23. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that <clears throat> I learned my lesson to obviously you know save my money and invest it right into assets that will make me money back because the thing i realize is you always have to try to make your money work for you right at the beginning everyone works for money you know what i mean everyone starts that way right everyone at the beginning starts with you know they have to work for the money but you always have to try to make your money work for you right so you always got to invest your money into things that will make you money back you know what i mean you always got to invest in yourself right so that's why people are broke they keep buying dumb things that don't need for example let's just say someone buys a five dollar or six dollar cup of coffee every single morning you know what i mean um and you may think that does not add up but if you keep consistently buying you know that five dollar cup of coffee for the next week month six months and year it does add up okay it really does and that is a lot of money you know what i mean like you can literally Go to the mall, go to your local supermarket, right? Buy a jar of coffee for like four to five dollars, right? You know, like the beans, you know what I mean? Like the powder or whatever it is for coffee, you know what I mean? And that could last you a couple months and you'll save so much money doing that, you know what I mean? I really don't get why people spend their money every single morning on coffee. I really don't get that. And the thing is that I don't understand, guys, is when people buy a bottle of water, water is free you have water at home you know what i mean like i really don't understand why people pay for a bottle of water you know what i mean like i really don't get that i i don't you know what i mean i just personally don't get why people spend their money on water when water is literally for free at home you know what i mean like you have a tap water so it's literally like pretty much the same thing like i get it there's different water like there's like spring water and all that it's different but it all tastes the same there's like no difference water is water you know what i mean there's no flavor in water right unless it's like coconut water or something like that you know what i mean so i don't understand why people buy things just for the sake of it you know what i mean like they're just so used to spending their money that they're just so used to it you know what i mean like they'll try to buy things to look at a certain way and trying to like impress people or try to have like fancy things you know what i mean and i used to be like that you know what i mean i used to care so much about what people think about me um and what i'm wearing and all that you know like try to build like my image you know what i mean and i wasn't happy okay and i'm glad that i am 22 and i realize this you know what i mean like i'm still young okay so i i'm glad now that i realize this right so <clears throat> you know that's why people stay broke guys right they 
here's also another thing I heard. Like, it's just like people like buy, you know, a fancy car to like impress people and all that. And I get it, guys, you know, a Mercedes, you know, a BMW, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, like they're nice cars, you know what I mean? Obviously, a people, you will get attention, you know what I mean? Obviously. But it's just like, if that car, if you can't afford it and it's out of your price range, you know what I mean? It's not worth it. Like, why are you trying to, like, look a certain way when in reality, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, are not happy, like, in general, you know what I mean? Like, why are you trying to look a certain way to, like, impress other people, right? And that car's, like, out of your price range. And then, like, when you drive the car back home, it's just making you miserable, you know what I mean? Like, I really don't get that, you know what I mean? And that's why people stay broke. They buy things that are out of their price range. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, the, and they just keep consistently buying things that they really don't need. You know what I mean? Like dumb things that they really don't need. You guys know, I talk about saving money. You know what I mean? And saving money, guys, is a bad thing because of inflation, right? If you save money, right, just know inflation is around. Inflation is a real thing. A lot of people don't think inflation is a real thing, but I talk about inflation, you know, every now and then, right? So inflation, you know, a lot of things go up in price. There's houses and there's food. Pretty much most things that have a price tag in this world goes up in value because of inflation. You know what I mean? So that's why I tell you guys to not save money for a long period of time. I'm talking about like years, right? It's okay to save money for a couple months. And then once you save that amount of money, you invest it into something, right? It could be an asset, you know, it could be crypto, it could be Bitcoin, it could be stock market, it could be, you know, maybe starting your own business, it could be in a property, you know, real estate or your own house, you know what I mean? Like all these things, right? Because inflation is around, guys. So you got to invest your money into things that will make you money back, right? And, you know, you always got to try to, you know, make your money work for you. You know what I mean? That's the way to go. That's why a lot of people are wealthy. That's why people are making money. That's why people have financial freedom, which is what everyone wants. You know what I mean? But trust me, you won't get financial freedom if you just keep consistently buying dumb things that you don't need. And I know a lot of you guys that are watching this video right now are young okay you guys are young you're probably at the same age as me you know what i mean you're probably in your early 20s and you're watching this video you're probably young in that just know guys okay just know that buying nice things to try to like look a certain way you know what i mean or to press like a girl or a boy you know what i mean trust me it is not worth it you know what i mean or even just look a certain way on social media right it is not worth it trust me i've been there right and i have learned a lot like now, guys, I don't look at this. Like, I don't wear any jewelry. You know what I mean? Like, literally, I don't have any jewelry on me. You know what I mean? I used to wear earrings so much. I used to, you know, wear, like, nice T-shirts and all of that, like, designer T-shirts. And I really did not need all these things. And, like, shoes, you know what I mean? Like, I buy all these shoes, guys, and I don't even wear them. Most of them are still brand new. You know what I mean? Like, I really did not wear them, right? Like, I would spend tens and thousands of dollars on shoes that I didn't wear, and to this day, I didn't even wear them, you know what I mean, so, complete waste of money, obviously, I'm going to resell um, a lot of the things that I have, you know what I mean, and it is possible, thank God, there is a market for shoes, and you could actually, you know, sell your shoes, and make a profit out of it, so thank God for that, you know what I mean, um, but, yeah, I just have learned a lot, you know what I mean, this is a big lesson for me, to not buy things that I really did not need, you know what I mean, because that's how you stay broke, so guys, this is why a lot of people are broke, you know what I mean? This is why people are broke and are staying broke. It's because they keep consistently buying dumb things that they don't need, you know what I mean? And let's just say for someone out there, right? Let's just say they're renting, you know what I mean? They get paid, let's just say $2,000 from their paycheck from a job, you know what I mean? The 9 to 5 daily job, right? They get paid $2,000 um, every, let's just say every fortnight, right? <clears throat> in the renting and the rent is let's just say eight hundred dollars right eight hundred dollars a fortnight that's their rent right now they have twelve hundred dollars what do they do with that twelve hundred dollars does they just buy dumb things that they don't need or maybe they're paying off the car their nice fancy car that they have or you know paying off um their phone that they couldn't afford like all these type of things you know what i mean like if you genuinely can't afford something like it's out of your price range trust me don't do it Right, that's how you guys stay broke, you know what I mean? That's what I realize now too, you know what I mean? I'm really good with, you know, saving my money and investing my money. That's the important thing, okay? That's the important thing here, investing. 
like i'm really good with investing my money now you know what i mean ever since i was investing into cryptocurrency it's changed my life a lot you know what i mean like dramatically you know what i mean it has changed my mindset a lot you know what i mean i'm glad i have learned this at 22 years old you know what i mean i'm glad because i'm still young i still have time you know what i mean so i really do believe when i'm 30 right eight years from now i really will become wealthy i really do believe that you know what i mean so i'm glad i have learned this at this age you know what i mean um because i still have time you know what i mean i really do i'm still a baby right i still have a lot of time ahead of me like i have my whole life ahead of me you know what i mean so i have learned a lot and i'm glad i have learned this lesson right here right to not buy dumb things to try and impress people right to look a certain way trying to be all fancy in that you know what i mean and especially go out to eat right a lot of people spend their money going out to eat you know what i mean they go to like fancy restaurants every now and then you know they'll go like to a fancy restaurant like four or five times a week um every single day they'll buy lunch you know what i mean like it's not it's just it's not the way to go you know what i mean and then i used to do that guys like back in 2017 when i was working um at my job i would always go and buy subway you know what i mean i'll always go to like you know nando's um chinese takeout foods like all these things you know what i mean and they would that was like literally $15 a day and that would add up in like a week like obviously you know what I mean and now guys I really don't do that you guys know I talk about living like I'm broke because I am literally living like I'm broke I'm living under my standards you know what I mean like I'm pretending that I have literally zero dollars like I literally have let's just say a hundred dollars on my bank that's it I am living that way you know what I mean and it has worked out for me you know what I mean it has really worked out for me living like I am broke is a great technique to use especially at a young age you know what i mean like literally like who cares if people think you have no money you know what i mean like really because they don't expect anything from you anyways because you're young you know what i mean but if you're 30 or 40 or 50 and you're still broke you know what i mean then people will be like questioning you like well how are you still broke you know what I mean? like things like that right and you don't want to be in that position you know what i mean so it's just like guys just please don't buy things that are under your price range you know what I mean? Like things that, things, the prices like that are just too high for you to buy. You know what I mean? And you know that you can't afford, right? So don't buy things that you really know that you can't afford it. You know what I mean? Like it's not worth it. Trust me. It is not. Okay. It is not. So realistic lies. Okay. If you want to make money, simply you just have to invest it into something that will make you money back. Okay. It could be starting your own business, invest it into an asset, you know what I mean? Bitcoin, um, it's cryptocurrency, you know, there's a stock market, um, there's like Forex and all that. I don't know much about like stocks and all that and Forex, but there's that, you know what I mean? There's real estate, you know, there's properties, there's land, like all these type of things that you can invest in to make money. You know what I mean? So guys, that is why the broke people stay broke. It's because they keep buying things that they can't afford. You know what I mean? They risk, they risk realistically can't afford, you know what I mean? And they just keep buying you know five dollar coffees you know they keep buying lunch going to fancy restaurants and then just genuinely buy things that they don't need they just keep buying dumb things that is why the people that are broke stay broke okay it's simple so guys um that's it for this video okay that is why the broke stay broke and the rich get rich because the rich people you know what i mean like they know what they're doing you know what i mean like they literally know what they're doing right so that's that okay so if you guys are broke just know you can always change okay you can literally always change so if you're broke don't worry you can always change you know what i mean it's not the end of the world right everyone's been through this okay a lot of people have been through this you know what i mean and i get it you know what i mean you can't help yourself you want to buy you know subway every single day because it's i don't know you if you think like it won't affect you you know 10 to 15 dollars won't affect you but trust me if you keep consistently buying lunch every single day for the next months even year it adds up okay it really does add up right so guys just be careful you know what i mean um but guys always invest your money into things that will make your money back okay always invest your money you know what i mean so guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a good day.